grave sites with the full concrete structure. You see these two. This is two graves together. Two different pictures of the people buried there and the cross above. And this seems to be fairly typical uh, in Thailand. Some really some lovely graves here. There is a little, well, maybe two graves there at the back. Um, maybe that is someone who has been recently buried, or it's empty for, a, for someone that's about to be buried, I'm not sure there. If you do know why they put the cloth, up, co the cloth over it, uh, let me know in the comments section. That is beautiful. So we've got two people in this grave. But, I mean, I'm not a religious person, but that is still a very beautiful grave there. This is one of the people that I found online when I researched this site, Hamilton King. So a lot of these structures here are quite old. Uh, we're going back to the 1950s, the 1940s. One there which the cross has fallen over. Um, that's fully concrete so I don't know how that's happened unless there's been some form of vandals. Now look at that one in the middle. I'm going to try and get a closer look in a minute. Um, the ground is quite wet. And I don't know why, because it hasn't rained in a while, but... The ground's quite wet and I don't want to step on anybody else's grave. Um, so I'll try and have a look at that later on. A lot of the graves here um, are, for, are Westerners uh, that have lived here possibly since World War II and before. Uh, there, there's one there. Ralph G. Hook was a major in the US Army during World War II. Uh, died here in 1991. 
So Buddhists generally are cremated. That is why there is so few burial sites in Thailand. Wow, these are nice. That's lovely. Wow, okay, look at that. That is beautiful. That really is beautiful there. Some of the headstones here are lovely. I love how they don't follow in a pattern. You know, a lot of them are just so different from each other. Take a look at this one. I mean, that, that is beautiful. Unfortunately, the cross is broken. So there's only the left hand side of the cross, there's no right, which is really sad, but that, that is really beautiful. And the big tomb behind it there. Now, that big thing there is the grave I want to show you in a minute. We'll go take a closer look at that one. Just before I do, I want to show you these two headstones. So let me get my paper out the way. Let me try and get a closer look um, without stepping on anybody's grave. Ugh. So here we have Albert and Freda Ring Lyman. Uh, and these were American born. They were lawyers. Looks like they were husband and wife. But these two Here 
are absolutely beautiful. back, not over. So this is the gravesite of Daniel Beach Bradley. He was a medical doctor and a missionary who laboured under Siam. Uh, Siam was the name of Thailand before it became Thailand and he dates back, well he died in 1873. So if you do a Google search on Daniel Beach Bradley, it will bring up a lot of information about him. And right next to this grave, we have his wife, Emily. So Emily died in 1845. Behind that, zooming because I don't want to step over, we have Irene. Irene Bell Bradley. I wonder who this is. It's difficult to read because it's all in white. There is an engraving there but the sun is so bright I can't actually read what it says. I think it may say Miller. 1872.
Okay. Here we have a very, very beautiful shrine. And we have someone about to run me over on the motorcycle. This is the, the shrine of Henry Allen Baster. And from what I've researched online, he's held in the greatest of respect. This really is a beautiful shrine. That's lovely. Let's have a look at that. In loving memory of our dear father Peter Orr. And that dates to 1927. That is lovely. Really is a fitting tribute. That is beautiful. That's a very regular grave. The tombstone is actually oval. There's no writing on it, but just a load of dots. If anybody knows what that is, please let me know.
Here's a little chapel area just at the back of the gravesite. Quite small. You'd probably only get about 30 40 people in here. pile of sand here, they must be doing some form of construction work. There is the path that I've been using that runs through the middle. Oh wow, I didn't see that before. Okay, look at that guys. That is lovely. Just FYI, there is a new skyscape, skyscraper that the building that's going to be overlooking. planning on visiting here it is lovely and peaceful and they have chairs provided <laughs> and don't forget the little chapel that you can sit in out of the sun really is a beautiful place and a beautiful day today very hot So we're just coming back to the main entrance again. Whew. It is hot guys, it is hot. Now I'm led to believe that the gates are unlocked 24 seven. Um, it may be interesting to do a night trip through here, I don't know. But I've not read any reports about this site being haunted Which the Thais do think a lot of places like this are haunted so that's 